So, recently I have been noticing that a ton of filler cars are being added to Asphalt 9. Now, although this might not sound so serious, this can actually cause issues to the balance of the game. So, with no further delay, let's get into it. In In every Asphalt 9 update, almost 6 cars are added to the game. Considering that we get an update every 2 months or so, and that there are 12 months in a year, that means 36 cars are added to the game every year. Most of these cars are filler cars that serve no real purpose of being in the game. Sure, you could argue saying that we need them for Grand Prix, drive syndicates and special events such as special hunts, car hunts and key hunts and key hunts. But I honestly don't think that the addition of new cars is really necessary as it unnecessarily increases the size of the game and makes it harder to play on low-end devices. Also, with the introduction of the new and improved graphics of Asphalt Legends Unite, the game would lag a lot on low-end devices as it would have to render the new cars with the improved graphics. Now that I have talked about the issue, here are potential ways Gameloft could fix it. First, instead of giving a new special event and Grand Prix car every season, Gameloft could reintroduce pre-existing cars in special events and Grand Prix, preferably the ones which many new players were not able to unlock. The rewards could be changed from time to time so that even veteran players can get rewarded. Second, Gameloft could make events like the Epic Pre, rewarding players with Epic import parts and decals for cars instead of new cars. That way players can spend time golding their already unlocked cars. Third, even if new cars are added, they should be added in limited quantity and should provide some use in the game, which would lure players to unlock it. For example, introducing a new king in a class changes the car options for the elite class event. So players would unlock that car for the elite class event. Also, instead of adding 6 cars per update, it could be reduced to 2 or 3. But people can argue that the drive syndicates and special events need new cars, but I'll talk about that in a separate video. My final but controversial solution is that, instead of introducing a new filler car for each Legends Pass, Gameloft could remove the pass or bring back older cars at a lower price of the Legends Pass. Now, I don't recommend that Gameloft bring back the useless filler cars, but cars like the Venom, the XJR9 and other good cars. Although it might be unlikely they give away the King's car keys in the pass, but I do expect them to give away good car keys in the pass. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and comment down your suggestions for the next video, goodbye and have a wonderful day ahead.